So, I've really been thinking, and my battery's gonna die. Gotta get a new battery. So before the battery dies, and we're about to begin this video, please follow Baby Lulu's head, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, give me some wild comments, and let's get this video started. Woo! So, today, I'm thinking let's have some fun. Let's, let's do something that'll be fun for me goats. And maybe the other animals will enjoy it as well. I know the goats will. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to create... So, let me pause for just one second. Right here, I created like this little jungle gym type thing and it's it's nice and stuff like that the goats used to use it a lot more um, and I'm not sure exactly why they're not using it as much nowadays but I built the boys a tree house and they had some fun with it so I think I'm gonna build some type of jungle gym for me goats and I have no plans, I have an idea. So we'll just see where this video goes. I got tires and cinder blocks and uh, posts and barrels and a dog house and I don't know. Maybe we'll get more stuff into it, I don't know, but that's, that's what we're gonna do today. That's what this video is gonna be all about. Building the goats a jungle gym i guess that's what we'll call it so let's get started so kind of the first thing i'm gonna do is lay out these three posts uh in a triangle is what i what i'm gonna try to do so let's get to that and see where that takes <laughs> So what I'm going to do right here is dig out uh, kind of like a little trench line, but that's because I'm going to set those cinder blocks in there and then once I put those cinder blocks down and I have this one post on it, I will set the other two posts that are going to run out this way set a cinder block on that side dig a small trench for it and then uh, connect it all and then fill it back up with the dirt that I take out of there so that's what we're doing baby So now I'm going to turn over and do the other side like this and then I'm going to put, uh, 
like I said, the bricks in there, the cinder blocks in there, and then uh, set this post going across. I have to move this dirt out of the way, but set this post down and then uh, dig a hole at the end. Same thing. <laughs> Ah, oh, sucker and sucker dash. I was afraid of that. That's all right. So, as you can see, whew, my cinder block idea didn't work, but. I have these tires, which I'll utilize, and then fill them in with uh, dirt. So it's all still gonna work. Just change the pants, baby. Too easy. All right, let me get that other tire put in there and then fill it up with some dirt. Make this happen. <laughs> like I should be on a Run DMC and uh, Aerosmith video. You told me to walk this way. Jog this way. Oh, that's a wasp. <laughs> Woo. Told y'all. Deathly afraid of bees and crazy wasp. Where the heck that one came out of. But go feed the goats and pigs and all that stuff and then get back on my goat park I did go inside for a little bit it was hot 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 just humid so let me do this stuff and then we'll get back to the, my, the goat park <laughs> So now I'm gonna take 
one of these tires that I know for sure. I'm gonna drill holes in its sidewall. I'm gonna put it over that. Uh, this little thing that I just, that little stump that I just made, that way they can jump on both of them or whatever they wanna do. And then the big reason, of course, you know, to drill the sidewall is just so that the water can escape. So that's what I'm gonna do. I got a big old uh, drill bit. I can go back and get the drill, so. So I'm just drilling some holes, like I said earlier, in the side here. Of course, I'm gonna flip the tire over. That way, if rain gets in there, it can get out pretty easy. So we'll start on this end over here. So I got the tire and a post in the ground. There's holes in that tire so the water can drain out. And I put like a triangle right here, some tires. That way the goats can climb on that stuff all they want. I did uh, screw th this lid to the doghouse right there. Um, I hope it stays. This dog house has been like a love-hate relationship, but the goats do like going into it. So it's got like, you know, shingle type material up top. So it's good for their hooves and stuff like that. And then we'll come into the, the goat uh, obstacle course, I guess. I don't know, but jungle gym. So I got a tire up front. A 55 gallon drum that I cut in half. Here's one half, the other half down there. But I did the similar, a similar thing right here. And then I got a like a springboard with some uh, cinder blocks. And you'll see I got cinder blocks right here. And this is a cart we got. We used to use it to um, take the animal feed from our vehicles to the pole barn but now since the tractor's good to go we don't have to worry about that 55 gallon drum and then cinder blocks every once in a while they will knock over the cinder blocks push them out of the way we just had to put them back that's what i got accomplished mid-morning to this afternoon again just a little play area for the goats you know so they can get out here and have fun. So that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. I hope you like the glo I hope you like the goat playground that I came up with, built real quick. I have fun doing it. You know, hopefully we'll get some footage here shortly of the goats out here playing. That'd be cool. Maybe some other animals get on it. Who knows? But one last time, guys, if you can, follow Baby Lulu's head. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Give me some wild comments. Y'all are crazy. I love you. We love you. And we'll see you on the next video.